Hello. So this video is about the comfort zone. Uh, Neil Donald Walsh once said, life begins at the end of your comfort zone. Simply put, only when you make, stop letting fears and anxiety hold you back will you start to make those major breakthroughs in life. Unfortunately, many people have problems with getting out of their comfort zones. They want to do more in life, but they're afraid to challenge themselves and push them the envelope onto what they think is safe. So we're going to talk about the comfort zone, specifically um, some steps that you can use to push those self created boundaries of what you think is possible. But before I can talk about that, let's define the term comfort zone and how this concept can be can hold people back. A comfort zone is a self-imposed boundary where a person will refuse to push past. Doing so often fills them with nervousness and anxiety. For example, um, let's say you started a new sales job. Probably there are certain aspects of this job that you feel comfortable doing like talking to individual coworkers or clients. On the other hand, the idea of cold calling uh, fills you with anxiety. Basically, you feel uncomfortable with doing anything that's not a one-on-one -on -one conversation. It's easy to fall into the trap of never pushing your comfort zone. Um, the problem with this is that it often prevents you from true success and happiness in life. That's because one of the best ways to grow is to test the limits of what people consider normal to live the life you want. So there are seven steps. Um, I found a lot of them would be very helpful. They really, they kind of relieve some of the anxiety with getting out of your comfort zone. So one, get information. Anxiety usually comes from the fear of the unknown. Usually we imagine the worst case scenario of what could happen when we push past the boundaries of what makes us feel safe. To break through the comfort zone, you need to first educate yourself. Your goal here is to find out whatever um, skill or activity um, you're pursuing. You'll talk to people who have done the same thing. You'll read books on the subject. Information is power. And the more you know about something, the less scary and more powerful you'll feel. Step two, have a plan. After educating yourself, you want to create a plan of action for pushing the boundaries on what you think is possible. With this step, you're going to write down a step-by-step -step blueprint of how you're going to get out of your comfort zone. You'll start with the easiest thing to do, then you create a plan of the next level. In this plan, you need to create benchmarks. These are mini goals that you put on, that you put one step close to pursuing past your comfort zone. Furthermore, it's important to identify the key challenges you're going to face and what you'll do to overcome them. Um, so like one of the things for me was college. So one of the things I did was write down things that I thought could go wrong and how I'll deal with them. A lot of it re involved reaching out for support. So step three, hold yourself accountable. Accountability is another key to breaking through your comfort zone. You want to tell your friends, your family about what you're doing, or you can even find an accountability partner um, or form a group. This is an important step because the people in your life will keep you on track. You want to give, you want them to give you that push as you're pushing your boundaries, um, they will make it hard for you to quit because you'll know you'll look foolish if you did. Step four, take um, baby steps. A journey of a thousand miles begins with a single step. Loud house. Breaking out of your comfort zone starts with the first step. Um, once you have a plan in place, you'll simply start with a crucial initial action. Taking baby steps is a great way to desensitize yourself to the feelings of anxiety as well. So step five, um, aggressively challenge your comfort zone. To really blast through your comfort zone, you want to do what I call aggressive challenge. This is a rapid fire approach where um, you do a lot of something that makes you scared. The idea is here is that you're shocking the system into becoming comfortable. Step six, remain positive. There are times when you experience a negative outcome something that shakes your confidence and makes you feel scared. The trick is to not let anything prevent you from blasting past the point of comfort. Recognize that you will have negative outcomes. It's a natural part of the process. Don't allow negativity to creep into your mind. Remind yourself that it's going to happen. In fact, you should recognize that you're actually being given feedback about how you can do something better. Um, so never stop expanding your comfort zone even if you arrive at your stated um, goal, it's important to keep pushing your boundaries, which means 
Step seven, keep expanding your comfort zone. Never stop expanding your comfort zone. Even if you arrive at your stated goal, it's important to keep pushing past those boundaries. Look for new challenges, find yourself, um, find stuff that you would never imagine you would do, like teaching a class on a subject that you once filled you with fear. Or you could work in, on a related skill. So that's it. Um, I found these actually really helpful for myself, so I hope they're helpful for you too. Thanks for watching.